This is courtesy of Photos of Ye, which is a Twitter account that posts loads of photos of Ye and obviously stuff that he's done on Instagram posts and stuff that if you're not following day to day, you can just get all that stuff on there and anything concerning people around him. And obviously in the in the run up to Donda 2, this account has been posting many, many things that I've been thankful for because I would never have found them or saw them myself in terms of people he's in the studio with, just him running around, the normal stuff. And... Um, they reposted this uh, screenshot that Kanye took and uploaded on his own account. I'm not sure if he's deleting at the moment that I think kind of speaks to the issues I've always had with people in the scene when it comes to streetwear, fashion, whatever scene I'm involved in. And maybe also speaks to the reason why I've never really been super successful in that field in terms of pursuing my career there or basically getting myself in a position to get paid to do the stuff that those guys are doing because I wasn't willing to kind of do these kind of funny style games or to have zero lack of self-awareness, no shame. That would kind of, I feel like are usually um, really important parts that you need to have in your arsenal if you want to go and pursue those careers in those fields because the market you know there's so, there's basically too many people that want jobs in that industry and none of jobs to go around so if you want to differentiate yourself you're going to need to be able to kind of get on your knees and suck a bit of dick you know what i mean it just is what it is it's painful but it is so this is Kirsty your photos with Ye and it's a repost that says him basically posting screenshots that he's basically having an SMS message with somebody right back and forth. And the caption of the post goes as follows. This is an example of Kim's cousin agreeing with me about TikTok then proceeding to ask me for some Yeezys. Afterwards her other cousin Kara called me saying she agreed with me then said she would speak out, she would speak out publicly which she never said she did um, what she suggested right. So this is again so we get, get on the first um, screenshot is somebody messaging Kanye saying as follows hi how are you hope all is well with you and the kids I saw your post on Instagram about TikTok and your daughter I'm happy to share what I know about this since I am the single mom and want to keep my kids off internet too call me or let me know if you want some information hope to see you all soon and Kanye texts back I don't feel like talking about it more cool no problem the next screenshot we've got um, I don't maybe it's a carrying on it said dragged into a dark place world uh, now my kids are getting dragged in she says I'm sorry I didn't mean to upset you he said I'm not upset and she said is it safe to buy Yeezys on StockX <laughs> oh my god right so she starts off with this mad long message talking about you know she saw his post and she connects with him as um she does that whole thing that people always do as a mother as a black woman as a black man as a person of color as a queer person as a gay man everyone does that thing where they wear their identity on their sleeves on their chest they flipping have it on the front of their hat gay man straight man handicapped man um visually impaired man dyslexic like it's like relax no one cares no one cares are you a good person yay or nay What's the strength of your actual character? Not this thing that you're born with, right? Do you know what I mean? That you didn't have any choice in. That's not important. We all have things that we have to kind of overcome in life. No one cares about that. Are you a truthful person? Are you somebody, somebody? Are you a loyal person? Are you a loving person? Are you a caring person? Do you, do you know what I mean? Those are the things that are actually important. Not the fact that you're a single mother. Who cares? Especially a single mother in the valley. Like, really? are you are all single mothers who cre create the same i don't think so but you know again i'm a dude i can't comment so we move on i'm happy to share what i know <laughs> so instead of just sharing with it then like being hey i know you're going for a tough situation now you don't need to reply to me but here's the loads of resources that i kind of use at the time when i was going through a tough time with my kid on social media and if you ever need me call me like that's what you do if you're really being selfless and wanting to be someone's friend. But when you see everybody as a transaction, when you see everybody as a clout token, every interaction is a game of clout. You're trying to basically see, oh, where's the in? How can I get the thing that I want? How can I curry favor here? How can I um, illustrate that I'm a good person here so I can get something there? Nothing is real. It's all fake. It's all inauthentic, which again explains why I think I suffered and wasn't successful in that industry because I was incapable, unwilling, or just didn't have any idea that this is how the game is played. Because what we're seeing here is Kanye at his grown age, texting with a woman who's also in her grown age, doing the same games that I was subjected to or I saw my friends doing when I was like 17, 18, 19. They were doing exactly the same things back then. So what it shows me is that it's still the same thing going on now, which also maybe explains why Kanye is such a monster. 
Like, why he's such a flipping divisive figure? Why he doesn't seem to um, have any level of, um, I wouldn't say temperance, but there's no kind of self-reflection. It's just like everything that he does, he does it and he justifies it after the fact because he just, you know, he just can't justify it and bulldoze his way through. And now that he's made money, he's essentially turned into somebody you can never give feedback to because once he's been validated in the real world in terms of, okay, cool, I'm a billionaire now. You can't tell me shit you basically create a monster that's incapable of, you know, having anyone give him any words of advice because in his head, it's like, who are you, who are you talking to? But also I feel like his friends around him have empowered him because why he's so beneficial to them that they would much rather turn a blind eye to the stuff that he does that they don't like in order to get the favors that they want. That's what they do, which kind of explains why you see all these, you know, beg friends around him when he's making the album and the whole of hip hop kind of turns out and decides to join him in and recording the album. I've not seen anybody come out and say he has a stance for him supporting Trump. I'm not going to record with him. Everyone basically has forgotten about him wearing the red hat. They've forgotten about him calling Trump his stepdad and they've decided, yeah, he's my boy now because he's so good at what he does and he's such a genius at what he does. People are willing to turn a blind eye, but it's also created a monster that he is at the moment. But anyway, going back to this issue, this illustrates to me why, again, I felt like I didn't succeed in the scene or I didn't get as further as I probably should have or as my talent should have got me to, considering where other people that I know have got to. This is the reason why, because I couldn't do this stuff, because I just incapable of subjecting myself to kind of asking someone for a favor, number one, especially somebody who I feel like I want to be a peer of in that scene, somebody who I kind of want to work alongside with in the future. I don't want to be subservient to you, especially in the beginning. At least let me prove my worth that I'm an actual creative too, that I've got cool ideas as well, that I can kind of spar with you in the same sort of flipping um, coliseum. At least let's do that. I don't want to come into it being the big friend. That's ridiculous. And also, I'd much rather if I was friends with someone like a Kanye, why not be an actual friend to the person instead of being somebody that's going to try and extract value? Why not try and be that one person in his social group that he can maybe go to that's actually going to give him an unbiased opinion because you generally don't need anything from it. You're not trying to get a record deal. You're not trying to get a loan to start a brand. You're not trying to get free Yeezys. You don't want tickets to go to a concert. And again, even, even if I was going to ask for something, even if I was, which I never would, because I'm never a favor guy, I'd much rather starve and go homeless and ask anybody for a favor. But even if I was going to be that guy, what would you rather do? Ask Kanye for some Yeezys that you could easily buy yourself. It's not Yeezys. This is not like Yeezys when they came out in like 2017 or something. This is Yeezys in 2022. You can buy those things for like a hundred pound more of over retail and stock weeks. It When they drop on a certain day, they give you loads of notice ahead of time. You can buy them pretty easy on the website. Yeezy supply when they do drop. Like simple. You don't need a bot or anything. Like as long as you're there within a 10 minute window of them releasing, you can generally get most pairs of Yeezys. It's not that difficult. So to go to this extent, just for some Yeezys is really, really R-worded, completely, especially considering this is a grown woman, a single mother, because she said it herself, this is a single mother begging for free shoes in the midst of this man going through a very public divorce, a very public custody battle, it seems like, and just loads of like, you know, back and forth tension, family stuff. And this is the time you feel like it's a, this is the appropriate time you think to slip in and ask for some free Yeezys. Come on, man. It continues, says, um, the, the, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> With some free leagues. Is it safe to buy you just some StockX? Andrew wants the Belugas. We'd love to see you and kids. <laughs> and he says the next one, his next text says, don't ask me about Yeezys right now. Absolutely crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy how people are, man. Like Yeezys in the midst of me flipping, fighting, you know, for to see my children and fighting to change the perception of me being a deadbeat dad and stuff. You are asking me for fucking Yeezys. Like, these people are absolutely insane, man. Legitimately insane people. I don't really know what's wrong with them. Um, but again, maybe I maybe I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I don't know what's wrong with me. 